everybody, I'm Bob. Hey there guys, I'm Kelly. If you are brand new to our channel, welcome and thank you so much for choosing to join us today. And if you are returning to our channel, thanks for coming back to see us. Thank you. And if you have not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Let's just wait. <laughs> and also don't forget to hit the notification bell. So that, ding, ding. so that you know every time we post. That's right. That's right. Okay, today. It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. And we are going to do what's in our park bag. What is in our park bag? I like watching other videos of people doing what's in their park bag. Just I guess because I'm nosy like that. And I like to see what they're carrying around all day. Plus they may have a good idea. They might have a good idea. So and it would be cool to kind of rob it from. We can borrow. But borrow with credit. Borrow with credit, Say, yes. listen, I learned this from... Hmm. Yes, borrowing with credit is important. Yes, it's very important. Anyway, we are going to show you what's in our park bags today because we do seem to carry a lot of stuff. Yeah, but we and we carry separate bags, so we do have different things. Yeah, I told my kids a long time ago I was not going to be their Sherpa, so they are also responsible for carrying their own bags. So what's in my bag is just for me, not well, for my kids. And I think it's important too when your kids, you know, get old enough to start carrying their own bag to have their own stuff. Kai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to start? Sure, I'll start. Okay. Okay, first off, this is my... Show us your bag, Bob. This is my park bag because, and you know what? I love this park bag. I just, it's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's a pull, it's a drawstring It's bag. a drawstring, so it's like, it's really like that. Yeah. Boop, draw it. And you like it because the straps are a little bit I like it because the straps are a little more comfortable to wear because mm -hmm. I have one that's Haunted Mansion, but the buckles like hit me right. Oh yeah. Right here and it's just, ow. And then yours has a, a pocket. I have a side pocket on this one to where I can hide little a things. Secret side the secret pocket. side pocket. Which when you're going through bag check, please be courteous and unzip all yes. your pockets because it makes it so much faster. It does. And they really appreciate it. Yeah. So, do you want to show them your park bag first sure. and then we'll go into what we're going into? Yeah, I've them. tried a few different styles of park bags. I have a, a lounge fly bag that I tried on our last trip and it was good, but I keep seeming to go back to this bag because it doesn't get too heavy, but then I can fit everything that I need in it. So, what I have chosen is, it's a Vera Bradley, it's a, you know, kind of quilted park bag. Um, it's got an outside pocket. It's got two little side pockets here. It's also got a zipper pocket. There's my dumb dog. Oh, this is what's cool about her. I know. Ah, she's got it's also got an outside pocket. It's got the, a dumbbell dangler. On the back, a dumbbell dangler. But this is one that, that's up against her back so she can keep her, her yeah. really secure stuff. I keep, yeah, I can keep stuff, you know, here. Well, a lot of times put the camera in this back pocket because it's quilted and it's you know soft and i won't worry about the camera getting scratched up so this is my park bag that i always take and it's cloth too so it doesn't really make her sweat exactly mine, mine being like vinyl my back sweats sometimes yeah and i don't really like that nobody likes back sweats back sweats sucks, sucks. <laughs> All right, so what's inside your bag there? Okay, well, we'll just go with our little side pocket first. I like okay. the side pocket because it's stuff that I would grab quickly and I don't have to go rummaging, rummage, 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 you yeah. know, through. So what I have in my side pocket, first off, is my GoPro. The GoPro. I don't use it often. I use it for more like B-roll stuff and everything. And then things and, that are wet. And wet and for rides. Yeah. Because it's got really great stabilization mm. and it works really good for rides. Mm. And. Of course, I have to have the GoPro accessories, which accessories. is a tripod, a little small we tripod. We like the little bitty tripods. Because it's easier for me just to hold it, and then I don't feel like I'm going to drop it. Mm -hmm. uh, a pair of glasses, of course. Always. Oh my god, is I hate being caught without a pair of glasses. Yeah, especially when you're trying to read menus or stuff up close. Or, yeah, you, you can't know, see anything. anything. I can't even see my GoPro for much, you know. And for much? For much, yeah. And I get a little lens cleaner cloth that I keep doesn't take up much room but you know sometimes the stuff gets dirty yes it does and then I have extra GoPro SD cards those are really convenient too because Bob made these cool little uh, we bought these baggies from Amazon and we have a large baggie and then we have small baggies inside that of have the separate SD and card then, then you can label them you can as label you go them as you go um, but now that's SD cards and you got a lot of stuff in that little yeah and, and plus extra battery yes extra battery extra battery for the gopro okay that's in my side pocket okay 
Now in the main pocket, which is stuff that I don't use as often, I have emergency water. You never know when you're gonna need water. You never know. Especially in Florida, it's you guys, like, yes. you need to stay hydrated. Even if you can just dump it on your head. That's right. That's right. I have gum because Always you know, gum. everybody knows, Disney does not sell gum. You cannot buy gum at Disney. So, and you can't even buy gum at the Orlando airport. Nowhere. So. In, yeah, so gum. I have gum, little packet of gum there, which is kind of nice to have. Um, let's see, For what else? For emergency bad breath situations. Yeah. Woo! It's like, <laughs> Uh, ah. Dragon breath. Um, <laughs> my emergency portable fan. I love this thing. It's mm -hmm. so cool. And these are uh, rechargeable too. So you yes. plug them into the, your. They have a USB charger, which are awesome. These have several speeds too. Right. And I love this. This is like great. Amazon got it from Amazon. Yes. Not sponsored. I wish. I wish. Um, of course, external charger because you know when you never you never know when you're gonna run out of battery. Yeah. And this sometimes works great for the phone because I have cords that fit everything. You know, mm -hmm. fits my phone. It fits the. Uh, and we like the these fan. little lipstick size chargers. Yeah. I, and did, it, I did buy a bigger one, like the the big kind of one like that. But we like these little lipstick size chargers. It does what I need. Yeah. Because usually all I need to do is recharge my phone and real quick. And it comes quick. in a little bag. Yeah. And it has like a cord in there. So for recharging. Mm -hmm. um, I ha of course, in Florida, never, ever go without some kind of rain An gear. An umbrella. Yeah. I have my little umbrella. We are umbrella people. We're not poncho people. No. We have found being from Colorado, there's no humidity in Colorado. And being in Florida with the poncho on, it's like your own personal sauna walking yes, around. Yes. So we find that umbrellas work better for us. And it's great for people who like ponchos because yeah. it does keep you dry. Because I do with an umbrella, your butt kind of gets wet sometimes, it you does. know, and your legs get wet. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have to take it off when you get to the rides, and the umbrella just shut, and that's it. Yeah. So. If ponchos are your jam, more power to you. But we are umbrella people. We are umbrella people, mm -hmm. and I never, ever, I don't care if it's like. 150 degrees and sunny and not a cloud in the sky yeah in florida i will not leave without my yeah umbrella. i have been caught in a downpour without an umbrella because i thought you know that morning was like oh it's not gonna rain it rained it of course rained. and it was pouring down rain and i was caught without an umbrella yep and the cheeto dust hair came out <laughs> that's another story that's another story that's another story and i get cord with charging cube for the phone and for whatever else because you never know when you're going to be sitting down. And you know, the new buses now have like a, uh, they, they have the uh, USB ports that you can, so if you're on the bus and it's the wrapped yeah. bus with yeah. the different, you know, like Goofy, Dumbo, whatever, mm -hmm. they have they ports. Have, yeah, that, they have Wi-Fi and USB charging yeah, ports. Yeah, so you can just charge your phone, whatever, in between wherever you're going. Yeah. Always take a pain relief. This is ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. So always take that because you never know when you're going to need that. Yeah, headaches, feet aches. Right. And Anything I think like that. that's about, oh, one last one thing. One last thing that's this, important for you. Oh my God, for me, this is a major thing because I am just like, I get overheated so easily. Mm -hmm. And this has saved my life several times. This is a cooling towel. Get it wet and it just keeps you cool forever. Yeah. And a lot of times we'll keep these in a baggie. Right. And if it's if we're there during the summer especially, you don't take them all the time when we're there in the winter months. No. But we'll put them in a baggie, get it wet, and we'll stick it in the freezer. Overnight. Overnight. In and the then, fridge. Yeah, and then stick it in the park bag and it's still cold. It stays really nice and cool. Mm -hmm. And then of course in the baggie you can keep a little extra water in it because yeah. it really needs water to work. I mean yeah. you can use it at a water fountain or whatever, but you know, when it's cool yeah, if water. you have a baggie, you can just keep adding water to the baggie. You know, you can get free water at the parks. Uh, you can add a little bit of water. Like at a quick service restaurant, you can get a free cup of water uh, and put it in your baggie and yeah, fill it back and, up or you, yeah, you can just stuff it right inside that side that cup of water, which I've done with the lid. I've just stuck it in yep, that cup of water, shook it up. It's you're good to go. Yep, exactly. And I always take eye drops for me because yeah. I get a lot of stuff in my eyes that irritates, and mm -hmm. you know so. These eye drops is my thing. Yeah. That's my gig. So that's what I got in my park bag. All right, so let's figure out what's in my park bag. I already showed, kind of showed you what's in the, the back outside pocket. Like I said, this kind of contains the camera most of the times and it does zip up. Sorry, Dumbo. Um, you can zip this one up to keep your stuff secure, you know, back there. So in the front pocket, I like to reach around and grab stuff really easily. So I'll keep my phone in here a lot of times so I'll just take my phone and just kind of 
you know, slide it in, burp, burp, just like that, and keep it in there. And then also in the front pocket that's easily accessible, I always have like hand, a lotion. hand lotion, which you never know when you're gonna it need. It works great for lips too. It does. It really does. Yeah. I also have a bottle of ibuprofen, little thing, just a tiny little travel size. So we're like pain relief. We are pain relief people because we're a little older oh. and you never know when those we're aches not and old. pains no, are no, no, no. more experienced. experienced you yes. never know when those aches and pains are going to settle Those in. experienced aches and pains. And I also keep a baggie full of pre-cut moleskin. Um, we found that if, if you're getting a blister or something like that on your, on your foot, um, moleskin works a lot better than band-aids because when your feet get sweaty, band-aids just have a tendency to slide right off your feet. And moleskin will stay on, you know, through a shower or anything Everything. like that. Everything. You and have I, to pull it off. Yeah, and they come in big sheets and I'll, I just pre-cut them before we leave the house, you know, on vacation and keep a baggie full of them. There. So that's usually kind of what's in my outside pocket. And then in the big part of my bag, I usually carry a full-size wallet in my bag. I usually carry, uh, you know, my pass holder card, my uh, couple of credit cards, my ID, um, and I, I do cash too. We, we do a lot of cash tips, you know, instead of putting stuff on our magic band. So I always carry a full-size wallet in my bag. I also have a Hydro Flask in there this these guys are great for keeping stuff cold yeah like, it will keep it the ice won't melt you can put ice water in here and it will still be cold you know six hours later mm -hmm. so i always usually have a hydro flask in there um i also have an umbrella this is my umbrella and then i also have a fan in the summer months, I don't always carry a fan in the winter months, but during the summer I do have a fan because as you know, if you've ever been there in the summer, it is hotter than all get out. Mm -hmm. As my mom would say, blue blazes. Yes. It's hotter than Hotter blue, than blue, blue blazes. Mm -hmm. I also have a little package of tissues. Cause you never know when you got a blue You never bird. know when you, and then Bob always has projectile sneezing. So it's always good. To, oh. It's always good to have some Come tissues. Man. And then let's see, I always have a granola bar. In my bag, a little snack. A little snack because you never know if you're going to be in a line for flight of passage for two hours, or whatever, or whatever. And you know, one of you, or you know, your family, or somebody gets hangry. This you will can help. like, yeah, give it to them. Yeah, I also have um, a package of SD cards. This can hold. Oh gosh, I think there's like eight of them in here right now, and we just keep them in this plastic baggie. To keep yeah, these safe. work for the cannon. Yeah, and then I also have my fuel rod. Fuel rods, you can swap these out at any of the parks. As of right now, you can still swap these out for free. Um, they also come with the two little chargers. The cords. For your cords. Yep. Let's see, I also have an extra cord, just in case. I also have gum. Because you know, you can always. You never know when we're not going to be together. Exactly. Because you know, she may say, "I want to do this," and I'm like, "I'm going to do right. this." So you know, we don't have any problems yeah. splitting. I also going. keep an extra couple of pens. I have a sharpie in my bag, just in case somebody has a button, a birthday button, or whatever. I've been stuck at times without a sharpie, and looking for a sharpie is not always easy. So I have a sharpie for either autograph books or. Um, or buttons. Or buttons, and then Badges. I also have a regular pen so that I can write on the SD cards when they get full and we need to swap them out real quick. I'm weird, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose my magic band, so I actually take an extra magic band with me. I know a lot of people don't, but I do, because I have a lot of extra little pockets in my bag. Um, these are the battery bags that Bob has created, which I think was super brilliant. So we take usually three yeah. batteries with us for our camera. So when a battery is charged and full, we keep it on that side. And then when a battery is used, we keep it on that side. So we just put the battery in like that. And then we know if our camera battery is either all used up or good to go, which I thought was brilliant. And then of course also, can't go to the park without something for your lips. This is Burt's Bees. It's got like a little sunscreen in it, which I love. Um, yeah, can't go without your Burt's Bees. And then I will kind of show you what my bag looks like inside. 
It's got two little pockets here. One, two, right there. So you can kind of see it's got extra little pockets. And then of course the big one here. That's why I love this bag so much is because even though it's small, it's like a mini backpack size. It's but got tons and tons of pockets. So not everything is just all thrown in thrown one big in, old bundle. Big old you have hole. to like dig. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. So that's what we carry to the parks. Except she didn't, for, you know, we're filming on the camera. That's she right. She does carry the camera I too. I do carry the camera. Like I said, I put it in this in this pocket in yeah. the back. I know it seems like a lot and I would love to one day be able to go to the park bagless, but it ain't happening anytime soon. Even when we go for like a couple hours, I usually take my we bag. We usually. Because it's, it's always got to have we'll something in it. We'll take a bag. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But you know, you just get used to it. You do. You just do it. That's just what you you're known to do. That's what you do. You're just used to it. Just yeah. And then you have everything that you could possibly need, you know, with you and you don't have to go buy things on the fly. Right. And I very rarely, when I take my bag, I never get caught without what I need. So. Exactly. Yeah. Like the umbrella. I know. Yeah. Don't do that again. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, guys. So if there's anything special that you put in your park bag when you go to the Disney parks, let us know. Um, and if we helped you with some suggestions on what to put in your bag as well, hope that helped. Right? Yeah. All right. So I guess it's time to say bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Love, Love you. Bye. bye.